2005, the BS2 came in, and since then the government has laid out a very clear map for going towards greener India, which ends with uh, BS6 Phase 1 OBD in 2020. And the uh, government is also very committed to bring in the cleaner fuel which is required. Uh, and at BS6, in fact, we reach up to 10 ppm of uh, sulfur in the fuel. And on the emission front, uh, we migrate towards BS6. So this is the map which has been done. Uh, beyond 20 to 2020, there is also one milestone which is uh, 2023, which is about BS6 with phase 2 onboard diagnostics, which also then starts looking at real world driving uh, economics. So, we had trucks and buses with EGR technology, also with SCR technology. So, apart from the global experience, we had a very good local experience as to how these technologies are working in Indian operating environment. And what has been very clear that up to you know, 160 to 180 HP and light duty applications, EGR is kind of a technology which can do the job because EGR is also lower cost. But going beyond that, SCR clearly makes sense because uh, for heavy duty application and beyond 180 HP, uh, SCR actually ends up giving better fluid economy. And when I say fluid economy, it is consumption of diesel as a fuel as well as the diesel exhaust fuel. So both put together, the fluid economy of the SCR solution is actually better than the EGR for heavy duty applications. And this is a trend that we see even globally and therefore what we have done finally is to give a vehicle or a solution which finally ends up giving the lowest total cost of ownership to the customer. So therefore there are customers who are kind of acquisition, acquisition cost sensitive are going to use their vehicles for light duty applications will be below 160 to 180 HP and they can go for the EGR solution. But a bulk of the market will be on the heavy duty side beyond 180 HP and for them the total cost of ownership is going to be significantly important as far as uh, cargo is concerned and uptime is going to be important as far as tippers is concerned and that is where we are going to give SCR which finally will end up giving for those applications better or lower to total cost of ownership, better uptime and more so also better resale value because the life durability of the engine is going to be better and therefore for that those particular applications we have made a clear choice of going to SCR and as Mr. Pishuridi said this is also kind of BS6 ready that means when you actually get into BS6 anyway SCR technology is required and therefore we are taking that technological leap right now being the leader as I said uh, apart from Coming on the trucks which meet these emission norms, we have actually made a significant improvement almost across the entire vehicle. So with BS4, the kind of trucks that we will come up with will meet a lot of customer requirements, will reduce their total cost of ownership and also improve on many other parameters. So take you through quickly some of those, I mean, it comes with, uh, the SCR1 comes with a Cummins engine, electronically controlled. And a few features that I would like to highlight. Uh, we have a vehicle acceleration management system, which is actually an electronic feature, which is managed through the accelerator pedal calibration. Wherein whatever input the driver is giving, it is filtered out to ensure that the acceleration curve of the engine is, is you know, quite tapered to say so. And this ensures that the fuel economy is maximum. It also ensures that the kind of abuse that the tires and the drive line will go through is minimized. So this feature will not only increase the fuel efficiency, but will also improve the aggregate life. We also have something called as load based speed control. So depending upon uh, whether we are going in overload condition, weighted load or unladen condition, the engine will have a different behavior to ensure that we get the best of uh, fuel efficiency. Uh, another first thing, we are coming up with a fuel economy switch now, uh, which will ensure that depending upon the usage condition of the duty cycle, a driver can select what he wants. So there is a light duty mode. So when we are going on, uh, say, rated road conditions or lighter grade, we can get into light duty mode, which gives the best of fuel efficiency. And if it's overload, heavier gradient, higher gradient, then we can go into the heavy duty mode. 
So this is another kind of first uh, which we have come out with, which will improve the fuel economy. We are coming out with uh, new gearboxes with a host of technologies, you know, dual synchrocones, carbon lined synchrocones, forced lubrication, uh, which ensures that you know you can we can start the truck on any grade, but the gearbox is always lubricated. So all these things finally will mean higher life and higher uptime.